Oh, right, all right, all right, guys, let's go. It is time for the final game of this week's I cast your freaking awesome replays. The challenge is pretend proxy, where you get to proxy your opponent and then not use it in the most normal way. Trick your opponent, don't even use the proxy, hide your buildings and then just macro up, build a distraction hatch, I don't know. Throw your opponent off. But we are looking for those most creative and unique of proxies down here in the bottom left. You might think he, all people who know how to code are geeks. They have glasses. They uh, they play Circle Jerk with Mark Zuckerberg at his pool parties back in the day. But no, this guy down here is different. He brings coding. He knows how to not just code in Python, but also how to show people his Python and use it well, especially in the shower when he's whipping his bros with the towel after a sweaty game of dodgeball. It's programmer. He's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's not just a programmer, he's a programmer. Up here in the top right, likes to stay healthy and get fit, but likes to have fun and move the body and dance at the same time. A big fan of those dance classes, it is Roomba. Yeah, you move, girl. Let's go. Let's take six inches off my waistline and have fun and learn how to dance at the same time. That's Roomba, right? Am I I'm thinking the right thing? Or is Roomba the cleaner? That's Zumba. Fuck, I got my names confused. <laughs> Roomba's the vacuum cleaner, isn't it? Damn it. <laughs> Shit. Ah, uh, thank you, chat. You saved me there. You saved me. Shit, that's Zumba. Okay, this is Roomba. Um, he likes to vacuum. Well, that's not very interesting, is it? SCV comes down, sees a hatchery blocking the natural, and uh, is going to build a bunker on the high ground. Now, are we going to see the most classic of things? We're going to see a player freak out, make a bunch of unupgraded marines, and then the other guy is just going to macro up. Also, Roomba's already forgotten the second depot, right? Yeah, 100% is going to forget the second depot. He's going to get a supply locked on 23. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. He's going to build a command set. Yeah, yeah, he's going to get a supply block so bad on 23. Oh, my God. He's going to be like, look, I have two barracks. And it's like, and you can't build anything with them or SCVs. Oh, no. Could start it. Start it deep, bro. Start it deep. Oh, my God. He builds a factory. Fucking worst supply block of all time. I always tell people, whenever you're getting rushed, Protoss, Terran, Zerg, build an overlord, a drone, or a depot. It's the first thing you do. By the way, what the fuck was that? <laughs> he rallies a drone up the ramp accident. Excuse me, accidentally gets it killed. Two marines in a bunker. Finally builds a depot after being supply blocked for 10 seconds. Oh, that's rough. No add-ons going down on the barracks. They are finally starting to lift to do that. Back at home, program is like, lol, trick to you, virgin. Takes a third base, keeps droning up, is just injecting and building drones. What a dickhead. Has tricked his opponent. The pretend proxy says, look at my tumescent spread of creep. Look at this big, large hatchery just blocking your expansion. Mm. I do love this skin, by the way. This is the, um, it's the Brood War skin, right? Looks fucking cool, man. I like it. I like it. Uh, we are going to see a reactor on the factory, a tech lab on the barracks, a third command center on the way for Roomba, who's, I think, very confused about what's going on in this game. Has zero information. And is just kind of just turtling it up. Just turtling. He's thinking about what to do right now. It's going to start Stim and more Marines. I think it's going to very slowly break out with tanks. But I think at this point, Roomba's like, wait. Oh. Oh, is this not real? <laughs> He's like, I better attack it. Is this a hallucinated hatchery? Well, it's not a hallucinated, but it's definitely not being committed to. That's for sure. This one pervert. Oh, no. Look, stop fucking looking at us. They notice the overlord peeking through the barracks window, watching them in the showers. They're like, what the fuck is that giant overlord doing? Is he watching us fucking bathe? And yes, he was. He is a pervert. Alert and Baneling Nest on the way behind this. Program is like, lol, I tricked you, you fucking nerb. You nerb? That's a noob and a nerd combined, I guess. Only a programmer could come up with such cool insults and just play it off just like that. Hellions are on the way. A single SCV, still the only thing trying to clear this out. I mean, don't get me wrong, guys. Having three command centers is nice. But why are we building an armory? Is he trying to do a Marauder Hellbat with Stim? What is this? I think Roomba is so confused about what's happening in this game. Program is like, droning, droning, droning. We're droning, droning, droning. And, um, yeah. I mean, that might be a Limp Biscuit song, but right now I think Program is Biscuit is very hard. 
I don't think he's very happy and excited with this position he's in. He's spreading creep. He's got lings. He's got a spine. He can make bane speed when that lair finishes. This is a pretty rough situation. Rumba has literally seen a hatchery and has just turtled the fuck out in pure fear. The Zerg has just shown him like one thing. He's like, I'm going to kill you. And the Terran's just like literally been like, okay, just goes back inside his house and starts boarding up the doors. And the Zerg just walks off and goes down to the pub and is having a beer. Meanwhile, the Terran is just, he's just like fucking boarding up the windows. He's digging a trench in his living room and he's placing spike traps in it and shit. He's like getting ready for some home alone shit. Meanwhile, the Zerg's just having a beer with his buddies down at the pub. He's like, oh dude, guys, you wouldn't believe it on the way here. I just saw this fucking virgin Terran walking out of his house. And I don't know, man, you know, I don't really like Terrans with their bullshit fucking stim marines and tanks and stuff. I don't know what came over me. I just, I just kind of called out to him. I was like, hey, I'm going to fucking murder your family. The other guy looked so scared. He just went, ran back inside his house. It was really fucking funny. The boy's like, oh, you got him fucking stupid Terran players. Ha <laughs> ha. You know, and, and, and Program is just there. He's having a beer, man. At this point, he's like, wait, what's this? Oh, shit. This guy's like built a fucking, he's got like a, a wooden plank out of his floorboard. He's got a rusty nail he's attached to it. And he's coming across the map, map with a vengeance. He's like, you try to kill me, I'll try to kill you, Zerg player. Of course, Roomba's deciding to attack with the Hellions before even having the bio arriving. Bane speed's almost done, guys. Um, thankfully for uh, Roomba, four Banelings. The program is not... Well, I could make more Banelings, but I'm not going to. If you had 10 speed Banes here, this would be the easiest hold of your life. As it is, these Banes are going to need juicy hits, guys. Programmer is building nothing right now. I think he's a little drunk. He might have peed on his hand. He's a little, oh, he's a little intoxicated. Uh, half decent Baneling hits, but not that great. Programmer has decided now, 35 seconds after the attack showed itself to him, um, to start building fighting units. Okay, maybe left it a little late, buddy. Um, I guess he's saying, you know what? I didn't think the Terran would be so mad. All I said I was going to kill his family. I don't see what there is to be so upset about and why he's being such a try-hard virgin zerg about it. This is not very cool. Roomba says, vroom, 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 vroom. I'm going to fucking clean your base up, dickhead. You guys ever seen a Roomba with a vengeance? Have you? Have you? Uh, all I can think about right now is the fact that I think it was Fear Dragon who was tweeting the other day saying it's so awkward when he's trying to take a shit and his Roomba always comes in and keeps bumping into his foot while he's trying to wipe his ass and it makes him uncomfortable and he's like Rumba leave me alone he feels really shamed by it like it's judging him and it's saying you're dirty you're dirty and it's trying to like you know it's trying to trying to clean him up there um about 30 drones survive on red hit points by the way so that's about as lucky as you can get does lose 14 workers but keeps all three bases alive and at the end of that nice production behind it by the way has added literally nothing He's just started dropping. <laughs> you imagine if he started three barracks before that fight started. This might actually be really hard for the Zerg. As it is, um, not many units for Terran who says quit. Pli oh, does he think he's winning? Does he not realize that he just left like 40 drones alive in the main and there's a third? Oh, he doesn't even know about the third hatch. This is like, I think Roomba thinks the Zerg committed to a crazy cheat and he defended it. So he's way ahead, right? That's Roomba's decision-making right now. He's like, oh, yeah, he proxy hatched and tried to kill me at the start, and it did no damage. And it's like, wait, 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 wait a second. You know, like, literally he built a hatch, ran one drone up your ramp, and did nothing else while you camped in your main for seven minutes, right? Roomba's like, yeah, so I should be ahead, right? And you're like, you know, that's not how StarCraft works, right? It's like that, that point where... Rumba is seeing this as exactly the same as when someone proxy hatches and makes 14 roaches one at a time and tries to run them up your ramp. Like, there's a slight difference in commitment there. In this one, Brogram has actually been droning the entire time. By the way, look at this fucking ambush he's set up. He, oh, Banelings just fucking sitting on the map with no map vision. This is my favorite thing is when Zerg players just leave their units on the map. Back home. It's not meant to work. It's not meant to fucking work. You fucking idiot. Unless the Terran move commands into your fucking bane lane. Oh. Oh. 
Got 14 Banelands just spread in the middle of the map. They're not even clumped up. They were spread out. Oh my god. <laughs> A big brain move from the programmer. Who right now is telling this fucking robotic, nerdy Terran player, the Roomba, stop bumping into my leg or I'll wipe my shit on you. Have you guys seen the Nutella trick? The Nutella prank that people play on their kids? Do they call their kid to get them a toilet roll? They say they can't reach it. And then they, as the kid hands it to them, they wipe Nutella on the hand of the kid. Oh my God, I was watching this yesterday. It's the fucking greatest. I wish I had kids just so I could do this shit to them. Um, and then they're like, oh, oh, what's that? Oh, I'm sorry. I accidentally got my poo on your hand. And the kids just start like screaming and crying and shit. It's the greatest. I think essentially right now, program is threatening the Nutella trick on, on Roomba. Um, He's there, he's like, dude, I'm just taking a Zerg dump on your base. Can you stop bumping into my foot? Roomba's like, I will clean up the Zerg. That is my job. It is my purpose in life. And the muter's like, mm, dude, I will, I will smear my muter poop on you. Get out of here. Let me, let me ravage your base. Program is having a nice time of it. He's up to 60 workers versus 24 SCVs. Now, don't get me wrong, libs can beat muters, but not when there's only three of them. Oh no. Great fight for Program. It gets out of there with all the muters weakened, but not dead. And of course, enhanced regeneration. What's it called? It's called tissue regen. Um, basically, Zerg Mutalisk regenerates life faster than most Zerg units. Um, you know, they just they flap their wings, some air gets in there, and it does a does a good job. It was it was Fear Dragon, by the way, who tweeted about that, by the way, right? About the Roomba. Can someone find that tweet and link it up for us in chat? So I can uh, take a look at it at the end of the game. And someone was someone I remember someone was like was it Maynard was responding? He was like, oh yeah, you know? He's like, yeah, I also feel so judged and upset when my Roomba happens to see me pooping. I can't believe my robotic device sees that I poo. Like, this is so embarrassing, Ravi. And Ravi was like, no, no, no. It's like, it's because it keeps bumping into my foot while I'm fucking wiping myself. Like that, it's not, I don't feel judged. It just, it keeps bumping into my foot. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. It was a great mental image. I'd love to have one of those robot vacuum cleaners. Um, it would make me feel more like I live in the future. Doc got one of those wireless chargers for the for our phones the other day. And I was like, you just sit the phone on it and it charges. And I was like, for me, that's literally like having a flying car. Like that's the level of futurism, you know? For me, where I'm like, I'm still stuck in my fucking 80s and 90s sci-fi movies where the future apparently just gives you like glowing visors for some reason and everyone roller skates around and, you know, fucking has sex by putting on a, heads a VR headset. Um... Um, I think at this point, Roomba may be dead, guys. What are we thinking here? There's more muters than there are marines right now. I think he could just fight the marines head on. The marines don't have any upgrades. He's got plus two... Why has he got plus two vehicle weapons? Fucking A. He's got plus two vehicle weapons for his Hellions. While playing Bio Medivac. What the fuck am I looking at, mate? <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess if you get blue flame with that, don't you start to like one shot Zerglings or something like that? I think there's a point where if you, if you get plus two or plus three with like blue flame, you start to one shot Zerglings with blue flame. Other? I don't even know. Man. Anyways, 22 meters versus 25 marines and about 500 lings and banes come and he says, I'm gonna blow up on your face. And he smears not just the Nutella, but also all of his baneling juices all over the Roomba. The Roomba now a walking fucking uh fucking shrine to all that is filth in this world you know normally it's meant to be there it's meant to be uh that, that's like <laughs> that's like you know if you get like chaos space marines or something and they like fucking take the like an imperial shrine and they fucking desecrate it and stuff and they're like nah we're gonna praise the great unclean one instead or some shit you know it's like that it's like you take your rumber and you just like you just take a poo on it and you let it drive around so it's still cleaning your house but it has a poo on it and you're like, oh, it's like, it's like the ultimate sick mind game you can play. You're like, is it cleaning or not? Like, whoa, what a programmer. Absolute Chad. Does take down Roomba there in the end, though. Shout out to Roomba, who I thought was actually still in a perfectly fine position. If at some point, maybe built some more barracks rather than a moving across the map into Banelings and then telling the opponent to leave the game, even though they were losing. Always love people's lovely, lovely game sense and intuition may have won the game also if realized that a single hatchery does not an attack make. Not even a queen made out of it could have gone down and taken the natural 
three to four minutes faster, but instead sat in the corner shaking, going, oh, it's a big, scary attack. But faked out by the pretend proxy. That was the entire point. GJ, well played, programmer. And uh, thank you for sending that replay. And guys, get your replays in for next week. The challenge is, of course, kick the ant hive, swarm your opponent with low tier units. Send me your replays. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the Patreon down below in the description if you do want to go above and beyond to support. And thank you, everybody, for all the love you've been showing the channel. See you in the next one. Goodbye and good night.